One thing that people really struggle with in Dart is the difference between final and const. Uh, both are kind of modifiers of sorts. They're way to declare variables um, and specify what characteristics you want that variable to have. So let's just start by writing a couple things. Um, let's just say I have a final called once. And this is just my final. So I have a final variable. Um, this is fine. I could also optionally include the type. Uh, once with type, that's also fine. Um, we're calling it a string, so we'll just say with type. And there we go, both are legal. Now, if I try to say once equals you know, something else, it can be anything, doesn't matter what it is. I'll get this error here. Once a final variable can only be set once, uh, which makes sense. You know, we're saying this is the final value I want this variable to have. So I think that makes sense to most people. If you are familiar with Java, that's basically how final works in Java. You're saying, I don't want this variable to be reassigned. I'm going to assign it once. I have to assign it when I declare it, and then that's it. Now, const is pretty similar. Uh, let's just say we have a const variable called also once. Like this. Um, it, it pretty much works the same. If I try to reassign it, there will be that error. Constant variables can't be assigned a value. And then same here. That's OK, too. We can be explicit about our typing. So const and final are really just just uh, modifiers for uh, variables. So now this begs the question, what is the difference? Um, well, final variables can only be set once and the variable is initialized when it's accessed. So this the difference between the two really has to do with memory and how the program is allocating memory. So both final and const are final in a sense. I mean, const variables are implicitly final. But the, the difference is um, that const is a compile time constant. So when the computer runs, um, the memory will already have been allocated for a const variable, no matter what. That memory already e exists because it happens at compile time. Whereas for a final variable, that memory is set conditionally at runtime if that variable is called. So it's really just about memory allocation, which will be a little clearer with an example, I think, especially if you're familiar with the difference between um, class and instance variables, which if you've mainly used JavaScript, you're probably more familiar than you think. And if you have used Java in the past, then you're definitely familiar. So let's just make a class. Let's call it car. And now let's say that we want certain properties on this car. Um, let's make a final property and let's make it an int and let's call it number of wheels and let's say four. Our car has four wheels. So let's reference that here by just creating an instance of our of our car class. Um, we could also We'll make this final because we're not going to reassign it, but it doesn't it doesn't actually affect what we're trying to show here. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to say uh, var c equals new, which is optional here in Dart. 
the new keyword is no longer required as of Dart 2 plus. Um, so I'm going to create an instance of my car variable. So basically, if I were to say, oops, let's print out, print our car has C dot number of wheels, wheels. Let's see, we run that. Our car has four wheels. That's kind of like what we would expect. Now if we try to say C dot number of wheels equals five, if we try to reassign it, we're gonna see an error because just like, um, can't be used as a setter because it's final. So just like we have here, we, we can't reassign this value. So that shouldn't be surprising. So now let's create a const variable on our class. And let's call it number of doors. Okay. So now we have an error. And it says only static fields can be declared as const. Which is different than we saw for final. So there is a practical difference in how these are used. It's not just about computer memory, although it is, um, or program memory. It, it's, about, it's, about, it's also about how they're used. And so it says only static fields can be declared as constant. So if you're familiar with uh, Java um, or even JavaScript, there's a static keyword. A static field is just something that exists one time. So if I have a car class and I create an instance like I'm doing right here, I can create, let's see. Let's say I create several uh, and I have C1, I have C2, and I have C3. Well, the final variable I'm going to have a different final variable for C, for C2, and for C3. But I'm always going to have the same static constant variable, number of doors. And so this is why um, it matters in terms of com computer memory. Because if I have a final variable, I'm saying, okay, access this, give me memory for this variable at runtime. So when I create a new class, I'm saying, oh, I have a final variable here. I need memory for that. Please give that to me. And then I create another one and I do the same thing. I say, oh, I have another final variable. I, ne I need more memory. Um, and so that's how that works. Whereas with the static const at compile time, before this ever runs, I'm saying I have a const variable so I need to allocate memory for that. So regardless of whether or not this class gets instantiated, this memory gets allocated. This code doesn't actually have to run. So we wouldn't want to, you know, if, if this were just a const variable, uh, we couldn't really say allocate memory for it up front because we don't know, we don't know how many car instances they're going to be. If this weren't static, if this were just a an instance variable, meaning a variable that exists as an instance for each class, um, then then we just wouldn't know how many to make because we don't know how many classes are going to be instantiated at compile time. But we do know if we have one class, or you know, or we just have a class definition here, and we have a const variable, we know if it's static that there's only going to be one. We only need to allocate this memory. So that's why const variables have to be static on classes. And it, it ties into the, the fundamental difference between final and const. And that is just that final variables have memory allocated at runtime and const variables have memory allocated at compile time. Functionally, in terms of reassignment, they're both the same. You can't reassign a final variable. You can't reassign a const variable because all const variables are implicitly final in the sense that they can't be reassigned. 
they're just not final in the sense that their memory gets priority right up front at compile time, not based on the program logic at runtime.